If you have a fitness business and you are having a hard time getting leads and actually converting them, in this process, I'm going to break down how to put together a front-end offer slash remark slash lead magnet and how to utilize that to get leads and then get people in on your high-ticket offer and on your back-end offer that obviously you want people in on. So what most people do is what most people do is they just simply offer their core offer. They say, hey, I'm a fitness coach, I'm a personal trainer, I'm a gym. And what I do is I just offer, you know, my membership for $50 a month, or I offer personal training for $100 an hour, and here you go. Here's a cool photo, pay, pay the price, right? And what happens is you either get a really, really select amount of people who actually probably maybe just pay for it, maybe like two people, one person a month that pay for it. But if you put together a front end offer or a front end remark, what happens is you get a lot of people that join in that you can then nurture and then present them that back end offer, which then later on leads to more sales and more conversions. So I'm gonna walk you through that process right here. So what a core offer is, is a core offer is something along the lines of this. So 15, 1500 for two months of personal training. And then let's say, let's say you help moms lose, lose weight. This is like your offer. 1500 for two months of personal training. So you maybe make a video, maybe make an advertisement. You'll maybe do some sort of advertising, um, any form doesn't really specifically matter, but you'll say, Hey mom, um, for $1,500, you can work with us for two months and you're going to get this, 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 this. You're going to get people that obviously opt in. You're going to get people that convert with this, um, but you're only going to get a few people who are like honestly just ready to go. People who are just like looking for that. People who are like, it, it's a very select few who maybe have been looking for this for a while. And then it's just like the offer is presented and it's there and then they're just going to take it. But it's going to be a very select few people. You're not going to get a lot of people coming in with this and it's just not the best. So this pricing for that backend offer is obviously going to be you know, 500 to honestly 5,000, I would say in the range for that back end offer. This is obviously your bread and butter. This is what you want people in for, right? But then if you offer something called that front end offer or what I call it is a front end remark, if you're able to make a front end remark, say, Hey, listen, um, we are giving something away for free or Hey, we're giving this away. Or, hey, we're giving away a free session. We're giving away a free consultation. Instead of just saying, hey, it's 1500 for two months. Hey, we're giving away something free. And then what's going to happen is you're going to get a lot of people opting into that. So an example of an upfront offer that you can use at the front of your funnel to act as a lead magnet, what I use is I use free sessions. I use um, trial periods. Buy one, get one. I, I don't mind that. Uh, not specifically for this. Free sessions, trial periods. Um, other examples would be some sort of resource. So like resource slash like video. Um, along the lines of this. So you're giving away that person something free. So instead of just saying, hey, it's 1500 for two months. Hey moms, it's 1500 for two months. They're going to say, Hey moms, I'm going to show you the exact process for free. How I, how me and Amy lost 50 pounds together. Just click the link, watch the free video. People are going to come in. They're going to give their information and then boom, same thing. Instead of saying, Hey moms, it's 1500 for two months. Say, Hey moms, we're giving away, you know, a week trial. Come train with us. You got a lot of people opt into that. Hey, we're giving away two free sessions. Come, come work with us. This will always be free. Don't charge like a dollar. Don't be like, hey, don't be the guy who's like, hey, I want to do like a $2 entrance fee or like watch a little video. Don't do it. Um, it just starts the, it starts the selling process on a bad note. The whole point of this is to start free, give a ton of value upfront, give a ton for free and then let the law of reciprocity kind of work in your favor. So examples of front end remarks are like three weeks, 
I love giving away free consultations that are positioned as free sessions. So, hey, we're giving away free sessions, even though it's just one free consultation. Right, see what I did there? Um, and that's pretty much, you know, some of the stuff that you can work with that you can do with this. I love the free resource and video. Say, so, hey, I'm bringing in exactly how to lose this amount of weight, how to lose weight as a mom past the age of 40, get specific and talk about who you're helping, right? Once you make that front end remark, the only thing after you give away that free thing or do that free thing is to provide a ton of value. If you don't provide a ton of value and if your free thing sucks, it doesn't matter. People are not going to want to, <coughs> people are not going to want to move forward with you, right? It doesn't matter. You have to make your free thing. You have to make your front out, front end offer something that sounds good and actually is good. So when people do it, it's like, wow, okay, this guy is for real. And this guy is not BSing me, right? So once you get people opting into that front end um, offer, front, front end, whatever, if it's that free resource or video, if it's a trial period that they do with you, if it's potentially free sessions that they have with you, there pretty much becomes a part where you then have to nurture them. So they're in your system, right? And now what you have to do is you have to take them from that front end, front end offer and get them onto that back end offer, which is, you know, that the, the, the bread and butter, that 500 to 5,000 range. How are you going to do that? So what you're going to do is you're going to do have a follow-up system. So you're going to check in with them and obviously get them to book in a call with you, right? So you're going to CTA pretty much a free call. You're not going to say, hey, um, here's a Stripe link after they've you know gone through your free stuff. You're going to say, hey, here's a call. And you're going to CTA that pretty much directly after in that follow-up, right? So you're going to have to have nurturing systems in place that are following up with those people, checking in with them, sending them emails, basically doing things to keep them active and keep your product top of mind. Once you get them through that nurturing system onto that call, obviously then you're going to sell them, right? Next, you're going to want to keep them active. This is a very big one. It doesn't matter how good your front end offer is, whatever. The worst thing that they can do is do your front end offer and then just be like, okay, cool. Bye. Peace. It doesn't work like that. Once they do that front end offer, they have to still be active. Right. A lot of people will just take it and run. That's the worst kind of people. So you want to keep them active and you want to do this by following up with them with step A here, your nurturing system. So if it's giving them a call, if it's texting them, if you, you probably have their phone number from that opt in, right, for that front end offer, right, you're going to want to follow up with them, call them, text them, email them. Whatever it may be, if it's a drip sequence with email, whatever it is, make sure that they're active and your product is top of mind. And then next, this is just a pretty basic one, but law of reciprocity. Pretty much what happens is when you give things away for free that are so good without any you know, expectation of any sort of return, what happens is people repay you. The universe repays you. When you give energy away for free without any expectation, energy is leaving you you are more inclined to have energy come back to you in larger amounts. That is simply physics, right? All energy must balance. So when you are excreting energy, you must have energy being preserved, right? It's the same thing. Money is energy. When you're giving away value, value is energy as well, right? So with reciprocity, when you're giving away this energy, when you're giving away this value, people are going to want to repay you, especially if it's good. So pretty much the, the, the thesis of this is, is this. So you're going to have your front end offer slash lead magnet. That is going to be really good. Tons of value, right? They're going to get that for a simple opt-in where you're going to get their name their phone number, and their email, right? And then you're going to nurture them from this free item onto a call. So pretty much what happens if we compare the situations, 
let's say number one, you lead with your with your front with your um, full high ticket package. Let's say you do this, right? Let's say you get a hundred people, hundred leads, hundred people. You're gonna probably get, or sorry, let, let's say you spend a hundred dollars a day. Sorry, on ads, you're probably gonna get two leads from this. Fifty dollars each. All right. And then option two is lead magnet. You're going to spend same, same amount, 100 per day. You're going to get um, 10 leads at $10, $10 per, per lead, right? And then what from this, what's going to happen is <laughs> you're going to spend, let's say, 3000 a month. You're going to get 10 leads a day. 10 times 30 is 300 leads. Instead of two leads a day, 60 leads. All right. And then with this, you're going to nurture. And then you're most likely going to sell these 300 people after that nurturing sequence. How long is this nurturing sequence? It could be anywhere from a day to two months, right? They're in your database, they're in your email lists. You own their own their information, right? So they will get nurtured, nurtured, nurtured until they book a call with your email list, with your drip sequence, with your calling team, if they're gonna be calling them or texting them or whatever. Um, and even if you have another offer that you wanna to present to them, you have their information, right? So from this 300 people, you'll maybe get a um, hundred that may that may jump on a call and then with this you're maybe gonna get out know, of the 60 leads you're maybe gonna get 10 to 15 that may jump on a call or I, I want to be more conservative let's say um, 70 to 80. Right. So with this, you know, it's it's pretty it's pretty simple. Have a lead magnet. It's going to lead to more people who are going to jump on a call. And this is a long term solution as well, because you're going to have a lot of people who join your email list that you can nurture over time, who are in your database, who are watching you, who respect you, who have gotten value from your thing and feel like they need to repay you. It's going to keep them top of mind. Your, it's going to keep your solution top of mind. And they're going to want to go with you when they have that um, or come across that problem again or that problem just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. They're going to come to you and then you're going to solve it. So if you got value from this video, thank you so much. Make sure that you get away from offering your core offer when you're running ads or doing any sort of advertising and switch to that upfront offer and use a lead magnet because it's going to help you a ton.